this is an open box Sarissa city block building that came from the UK and uh, you can get these on eBay or you could order directly from Sarissa and uh, it's 28 millimeter which is uh, an English measurement for O gauge so uh, actually, let's see. there we go it slides right out all right, so uh, let's see here. Side All right, so let's see what we got here. So a wood kit, and uh, if everything goes right, it should go together really well. Heard a lot of good things about these. It's a little off the beaten path from uh, American U.S. O gauge buildings. Uh, obviously. Uh, the easiest ones to find are Lionel or MTH. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Got some uh, some nice detail here. Uh, base plates. Um, that's the base, I believe. Oh, that's nice. Needs to do something. Let's see if these pop right out. Uh, never actually uh, had one of these kits before. Those things pop right out. Uh, laser cut, pretty cool. All wood, probably some sign. Got some walls, uh, and it's nice and thick. It's it uh, doesn't bend. It's kind of a kind of a pressed together medium. It's not really wood, but it's you know made of wood probably. And that's the front. Here, hey, you know what I'm looking for is instructions. And wow, look at this thing here. It's a bunch of uh, little pieces here that uh, pop out with the rail. I probably shouldn't pop those out. I pop the rails out. But it's uh, pretty cool. A little darker. It's probably dark because there's so much uh, laser cutting going on that uh, in the process it probably burned the wood a little bit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. See, uh, probably I don't need that piece. Um, not really sure what these are. I'm looking for the instructions. Well, oh, <laughs> got a little worried there. Okay, so, so some neat stuff here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Whoa, that's, that was easy on that one. All right, so what do we got here for instructions? Uh, so that's what it looks like. It's a city block, 28 millimeter residential block. So it's, uh, let's see, what's number one here. Number one, okay, ground floor, two interior walls, three, first floor, four roof, five, front railing. Um, <laughs> that's it for the instructions. Uh, so, um, so that's the open box. That's what you get. Uh, let's see what I paid. I paid uh, 31 pounds total. And uh, that equates to probably 35 bucks American, maybe more. I don't know the current uh, exchange rate. So, uh, so right off the bat, looks looks pretty nice, looks pretty good. Let's see if uh, I'm actually going to assemble this here in a moment, and uh, let's see just to show you uh, what can I show you? Nope, line up there. Anyway, that lines up like this, which is is really cool. Um, So, uh, actually, that might be, uh, I don't know, up here. Anyway, um, really cool. Pretty solid. And, uh, 
I think this is going to stand up well. The, the only concern I have right off the bat is uh, how is this going to take uh, painting. It, uh, it does have some texture for the brick, so if you give it a light coat, maybe uh, it won't fill any of that grout line, or mortar line, rather. And uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, how that works. This is uh, the base plate. And uh, I'm thinking gray here. Uh, give that a, a shot of gray. I wonder if I should do it before or after I assemble it. Um, okay, so let me uh, let me get some tools and uh, we'll start working on this uh, bad boy. Uh, but so far, it, it looks like a, it looks like a great kit. I uh, I saw the pictures. Uh, might have been on eBay, or it might have been just at their uh, the Sarissa site. I don't know if I even mentioned that at the beginning. This is a Sarissa Precision Kit. It's actually meant for war, uh, war gaming, uh, but I thought the 28 millimeter would would be close to O gauge, and I'll get an O gauge figure to see uh, see how that's going to measure up. But I started uh, laying this out, and I I didn't even realize I put this piece over here, and I, I was doing some stuff. I look. That's how precision cut these things are. This thing is standing up by itself. And uh, I just set it over there and I turned around and it was, it was standing up. That was amazing. So uh, I, uh, I have decided not to, not to paint anything for this video just to show you, uh, you know, what it looks like. So this is a doorway. I think it's on the, the second level. And there's an O-gauge guy. So it's it's a little off scale for uh, for regular O, which is uh, 148, but you know it, it it's close. You know it's close. So I would I would use this on my layout just to kind of overlook. Uh, yeah, it's more about the enjoyment and the fun rather than being super technical. Uh, but if you're you're an absolute scale person, um, this may not work for you. But it's pretty darn close, and it's it's a neat kit. So I hope uh, hopefully the camera can pick that up. Uh, this guy's a, he's, he's tall. He's just a kind of a a uh, individual who's just got some height on him. So I'm gonna say he's not six foot. He's he's six eight, and he's got a ducking doorway. So that's that's what I'm gonna say. So anyway, let's uh, let's get started here. Um, I'm using uh, using exterior wood glue. <clears throat> Because everything I use, or everything I build rather, I, I overbuild. Uh, it's waterproof. It's a wood glue, but it's waterproof. <laughs> you can take it outside, and the uh, the model would probably fall apart before the glue does. I got a straight edge uh, exacto here, and I'm using uh, uh, heat glue just for the sake of time. But uh, what I'm what I'm going to do here also is. Uh, Put a put a little bit of regular wood glue and then just tighten it up with the uh, the heat glue. Okay, so a little bit of light helps. So um, this part is pretty cool. The, the detail just slides right in there and all of a sudden all the windows and the uh, vents up that go underneath what we would call a crawl space in America. Uh, just pop that piece in there and it lines up and then you get all that detail which is pretty cool right away. So I'm going to put, this is the interior, not glued yet, but uh, that fits right inside here and there's only four corner supports. So uh, what I did is, out of there's plenty of scrap wood, uh, I'm just going to put this right in the center, and then these other supports around the sides to really support this, this interior structure. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. So this is a uh, apartment, or I suppose in England or in the UK it would be called a flat. But uh, this was this is divider is it divides the bottom floor into two separate apartments. So. I'm 
whereas put the uh, reinforcements inside there for the floor. Uh, again, I used the, uh, the heat glue on parts that really aren't going to be seen. I know uh, heat glue is a little bit of a trouble to work with. It, it's got the glue and then you get that little string that uh, always seems to float away. Anyway, so this is the inner floor. Um, again, using wood glue, but the, the heat glue really uh, stiffens everything up and then you can move on with your project while the uh, wood glue dries. So this is the next floor and there's a notch here, notch here. Uh, there, uh, there's extra notches, so I, I, these two pieces I, I, I imagine are interchangeable. So that fits right on top of here. And uh, then we'll start the next floor. Okay, so there's the second floor outer walls. Uh, if you've been noticing on the fast forward part, I use a Q-tip to, to get rid of all those little beads of glue that might uh, be there. Because when you go ahead and uh, you go and paint it, uh, you're going to see those little imperfections of the glue beads. And uh, if you did notice, I didn't glue the uh, the joints in the walls. And, and the reason being, I'll show you here in a minute, I'm going to use a different type of glue. Um, now, in the, uh, in the O-gauge world, you know, we, we won't take this apart. Uh, but this, this particular model here is meant for gaming. So, uh, if you're unfamiliar with gaming, there's a lot of uh, movement. And if some space marines or some people go, or World War II Army uh, personnel go inside the building, this comes off and the game continues in these rooms. So uh, that's why this model does come apart like this and it's kind of cool. Um, I'm eventually going to put lighting inside of this building. So uh, that's going to be a nice feature that I can I can remove a floor and put lighting underneath here. Or uh, there's plenty of room actually here to run wires which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so you can light whatever rooms up you want or light all of them up and put toggle switches on each one. Uh, I know that's a, that's overkill, but, uh, <laughs> you know, gives the, uh, you know, as long as we're talking about layouts and structures and this particular model, uh, you have some grandkids come over and uh, let's say you had six toggles on this building, your grandkids could light up each room, which, you know, keep them entertained for a little bit. So anyway, um, that's the second floor, and then we'll continue. But let me show you on the corners here uh, what I'm going to do with that other glue. So, uh, so this other type of uh, glue, it's uh, jet, and then this is the uh, accelerator. So you you put your glue on, and then you just spray a little bit of this on there, and the glue immediately solidifies, and you can move on to your next piece that you want to uh, work on. So it's a really fast, fast glue. And I think this is... Did I miss something here? Sure did. And good thing this comes apart, because uh, this is actually... Wow, I'm going to have to redo that. That sucks. But what I can do, I can actually just cut this out, cut that out, cut that out, and I'll slide right in there. So I made a mistake. Um, that's the detail for the back windows. My fault. Uh, that really had nothing to do with the instructions. It's just me trying to move along uh, too quickly. So anyway, so let's move this up here. And uh, this is just another really neat feature, this, this whole model. You, uh, you put that in there, and bam, your windows are... Uh, there and uh, let's see if you wanted to put uh, glass or glassine or uh, styrene in there I suppose it probably would be easier just to put it on the back side instead of the front but anyway that's usually like a recessed window which is really neat so 
I'll move along with this floor, even though I gotta go back and modify the first floor. Let that soak in a little bit. This is kind of like a, uh, a water consistency, a little thicker, but it uh, it soaks in, and I'll just move it around a little bit with a Q-tip. Get all the texture out of the glue because I'm going to paint this probably. Uh, I like to uh, I like to do interiors and uh, really. Uh, if anybody leans down and looks in one of your windows on your layout, they'll actually see some stuff inside the building. This is a nice big room. You can put tables, beds, whatever. Uh, anyway, that's that's just what I like to do. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the kicker on that glue. Just give it a get some. Yes. And uh, that solidifies it. All you need it comes like rock solid, so whew, and it's got some odor. So you should use this in a well ventilated area. And we'll do the back. So anyway, basically that that glue just solidified these corners. And we'll do the same thing with the back, and then we'll then we'll move on. So now the roof should be fairly simple. Let's put the roof on. Look how, look how nice that fits. And um, so we got our roof pieces here. Right, so we're back here. Get this lined up. And this piece is nice. There's not a whole, not a whole lot of thinking here. All you have to do is basically line that corner up and this corner up. And that's where it sets. So uh, let's see how. I think I'm just going to use the super jet glue on this. And I'm not too worried about the glue up here because uh, you know there's going to be roofing material. Like it's going to be black. It's going to be like asphalt. Asphalt roofing. So. It doesn't really matter too much about the glue. Because that would just look like basically tar. Look at it one more time before we solidify this. And I was thinking that was probably going to happen. The applicator doesn't work. So, when that happens, we're just going to have to use yeah, a Q-tip here, just to show you how, how this glue does work. It's like I'm picking it up from here, and it works that quick. You know, it's really good stuff. So we'll be moving on to the front fence and steps. So there's all these neat pieces here, and uh, this is called a square, and we're going to use that to uh, make our steps. But you know, this is just really, really nice stuff. Um, there, you know, there's photo etching material, which is uh, brass, and then you have to uh, put it in the acid bath to get this kind of detail. But I mean, uh, hopefully, I can do a, a close up here. That's just really, really neat detail coming out of a laser cut wood kit. So anyway, that uh, echoes there. We'll apply that. But uh, you know, this is probably the most tedious right here, just getting all the pieces together. So we're going to use a square, and uh, that's going to help out a lot. So these are, uh, yeah, this is definitely the hardest part of the kit, are these stairs. Uh, so basically, uh, just to kind of go over what I did do, 
with this set um, I hit some heat glue on the inside and I put it up against this let it set up to get square and so it should fit right in. I'm not going to glue that until I get the other side done just to make sure it fits right. Uh, so after uh, after that and, and also if you get one of these kits these stairs go this way you can see that I put the first one in like that and then I inadvertently reverse the uh, I'm missing a step here somewhere there it is. And I put the other two backwards, so it's a good thing I, uh, I'm using this type of glue that is a little forgiving until you put the accelerator on it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and finish this off. And for the most part, that's going to be that's going to be it. Uh, there's these two pieces. I don't know if they're just from the the uh, the wood tree or. Uh, they actually go somewhere. I don't see those pieces in the instructions. Uh, the instructions are, are, are pretty good. They're pictorial, so obviously uh, everyone can read it. Doesn't matter what language. Uh, there was a few things that I it was my fault I, um, because I'm using the heat glue. I had to. Oops, I'm in trouble now. Come on here. Or I screwed something up. I didn't wait for the glue to dry. That's not good. There we go. Uh, anyway, this back wall here, uh, I kind of got ahead of myself. I forgot to put this piece on. Uh, so what I did, I, I just notched out this piece, this piece. I removed this, made it fit, and then put this piece back and then glued it. Most of this is not going to be seen, so I'm not real worried about <laughs> what a great job I did in the inside. Anyway, it fits really nice when you know what you're doing. And uh, so I'll finish this off and we'll close out the video. So the kit's finished for the most part, except for these two pieces here. It's a little tight. Uh, as I might have expected. Uh, so, well, maybe not. Anyway, I'm going to work on that uh, to my liking. So this guy's O scale uh, does really does really work in O scale, I think. Uh, there's there was a couple of pieces that I, I didn't know where they went. They actually went down. That's a piece right there, and it was pretty obviously as, as soon as I put it there. I like oh wow there's a there's an opening so this comes off you got your upstairs and this comes out which is really cool you got your downstairs downstairs flat or apartments and uh, again in this I did, I just put some reinforcements it only had the four corners so, uh, like I said, I like to overbuild stuff, and uh, with a little bit of sanding, a little bit of maybe a putty filler, I'll, uh, I'll have everything looking looking pretty sharp. Uh, the only thing, my only concern is how this is going to take the color, and depending on what part of the country I think it might be in, you know, red brick or Pennsylvania gray. Uh, but a pretty nice kit. Would I get it again? Absolutely. Uh, they make a uh, it's a warehouse or factory kit, and uh, I think that's going to be my next project because these these are very well made. They go together very well. Uh, you, know, you just don't see that in a lot of products these days. But it comes from UK, Britannia, Great Britain, so. Uh, you know, I, I would expect nothing less. Good, good kit. I would definitely get it again. Let me give you a 360 degree. So uh, this is nice the way it is. And uh, no back doors, just those two front doors. But really, really cool. And anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. 
and uh, could you at least give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe to my channel okay great see you next time